and welcome to On the Clouds of Heaven, Rise of the Vatican, a mod for Hearts of Iron 4 where the Pope thinks he hears the voice of God and goes crazy. This is going to be fun. Yep, we're going to be playing as the Vatican. We'll stay here and causing chaos from what I've seen on the workshop page. God, the start sound is an organ. I hope none of this organ music is is, is copyrighted, because then I'm gonna get claims. The, the voices. In his dreams, Pope Pius XI hears ethereal noises, voices on the wind. Sometimes they are quiet, sounding of harsh coals crackling, and other times of dissonant trumpets. And sometimes they merge into a chorus in the cacophony he has been able to make out one consistent instruction, one singular command, to restore what is rightfully ours, to revive the glorious papal states. <laughs> what am I getting the Pope, or actually, what, what is the Pope getting me into? You okay, Pope Pius the, 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 the 11th? You okay? It's fine for now. I got my one troop. Gonna conquer all of Italy with it. I don't have a field marshal. Oh man, we got more of an economy than I thought. But one military factory and one civilian factory. Why is there a military factory in the Papal States? I wasn't aware that the Pope was making guns in this time period. We are, we're making, <laughs> Pope making guns. So, there is a lot of catacombs under, under, the, uh, under the Vatican. It's, it's probably somewhere down there. Hidden arms factory. Oh, but we don't have an air force. We don't know how to make planes. I mean, according, according to this, we are we are uh, quite archaic. Just 20% research speed. I gotta figure out how to get rid of that. That is painful. Okay, so I have a choice of what to do now. I can either denounce Mussolini's tyranny, or I can have dinner with him. This tree has me start a revolution and take over the place, or this one has me slowly depose him. You know, well, let's ha let's have dinner with the dictator. Dinner with Mussolini. A special meeting has been arranged with Il Duce himself, the dictator of the Italian kingdom. In all his time in power, Mussolini has not met the Pope very often, but this is a very special occasion. If we, were, if we were to begin projecting power across the peninsula once more, just as we did all those centuries ago, we will need to employ a little persuasion. Benito Mussolini knows he needs the Church's blessing to keep his regime stable. The Italian people have not yet forgotten the Word of God. If all goes well tonight, this could end up being quite a lucrative relationship for both Rome and the Vatican. At least for now. Excellent. France did not like that. Don't worry, Ethiopia. I'll free you. Just gotta depose the dictator. Okay, so doing this focus just just gets me a province. If the voices are to be satisfied, there is no question that a Vatican must expand beyond the constraining walls of the city to become a true nation state. I'm just gonna Pope Pius XI is just gonna walk into Mussolini's bedroom at night with a knife to his throat and just demand that he give it to him. That's, that's what I imagine is happening. The voices told him to do it. God demands that the Pope reform the Papal States. Oh look, it's, it's, it's just mine now. I have a coastline. Thanks, Italy. Yo, know, let's, let's revive the Marina Pontifica. The Pope needs a boat. You've heard of the Pope Mobile, well now we're gonna have the Pope boat. Try saying that five times fast. 
Pope boat, Pope boat, Pope boat, Pope boat. No, nope, you can't. So many lip sounds. I know what the Pope needs next. He needs an air force. The Pope needs planes. We got, we got the Pope mobile, the Pope boat, and we're gonna have the, the Pope plane. Nah, mm -hmm. it's gotta be a better name for it than that. I don't know, crazy enough. Put in the comments what you think the Pope's plane should be called. There we go. That'll that'll boost engagement. Right, I, I, th I think it, I think it's time to time to threaten Mussolini with a knife again. The Pope demands Tuscany this time. And like that, I have threatened Mussolini successfully once again. I now have Tuscany. All right, time to sneak into Mussolini's bedroom again. Or maybe this time we'll ask, we'll have, we'll have somebody else sneak into his bedroom. Depends on what, it depends on what the voices really want, really. The Pope is running low on guns to train the troops he needs in order to depose Mussolini. I hope I get this done before Italy joins any wars. I think it's time for the Pope to fly. He, he built all those, all those air bases, but he doesn't have any planes to fly. I need the Pope plane. Also, it's finally time to depose him. Finally got that, got the troops, got the opinion. It's time for you to go away, Mussolini. I don't know whether I'm going to kill him or not. Who knows what the Pope's going to do? He's got those voices. He's got God talking to him. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. He doesn't have he doesn't have a leader trait pertaining to him hearing voices. Okay, we're both yellow now. I I annexed the rest of the top of Italy, and the bottom is puppeted. Who's, it, who's in charge? I don't know who he is. Judging by how he's dressed, I think he's a cardinal. I've deposed Mussolini and put a cardinal in charge of what's left of Italy. It's, it's the southern part. There's no industry there. It's time for me to declare the Papal States. The voice is louder than ever before. His Holiness hears them always. We must move quickly to declare the Papal States and to achieve our final destiny. Oh, what glories await us. Oh, what wonderful plans the voices must have in mind. Oh, God. I'm just waiting for this to get even more crazy. Do they still have... Oh, they still have their focus tree. And they can still demand Albanian occupation. That's going to be interesting. You better not start a war and drag me into it. Okay, it's time to see what this great and terrible revelation is. Oh, what are you going to do, Pope Pius? The voices grow ceaseless. The day, he began, raising his arms to the tens of thousands watching from below. Italy is one people under God. Our way of life is governed by scripture. Our values and dreams are inspired by the divine. Never more shall the Italian people suffer beneath the boot of tyranny. Let us rise. Then he began to falter. The Pope choked up for a moment. And at first, the crowd thought he had been overcome by emotion. Let us... Then he stumbled, and then collapsed. Cries rang out, and aides rushed to assist him. The voices, they never stopped. In fact, they have only gotten worse. Pope Pius XI rests softly now in his chambers. Physicians attending to him as he drifts in and out of consciousness. In those brief waking moments, his words are as incoherent as the voices that babble in his mind. Just as glory seemed to have been achieved, fate chose to shock the world. There is only one question on everyone's lips at this moment. What now? Oh shit, is Pope dead? What the fuck? What is that, a door? Okay, the College of Cardinals is now running the papacy. Oh shit, the Pope is gonna die. 
You better not. I like... Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> there we go. There's the rest of the tree. Yeah, I thought, I thought this focus looked a bit small. Oh, yeah, there's four roots. Two of them aren't here yet. Uh, what do I do? No, wait a minute. The Son of Man will take control of our state and we will get new advisors. Is, G Is Jesus going to run the papacy? <laughs> what? The Prince of Hell will take control of our state and will get new advice. Okay, do I, do I want Satan or Jesus? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Jesus. I'll try. I'll try Satan some other time. Okay, everybody. The Pope was not hearing the voice of Satan. It was the voice of Jesus. A holy revelation. It began with a wisp of white smoke, trailing out of the mouth of, of Pius. The sight bewildered his doctors. They were overcome with wonder. Within minutes, clouds that glowed bright and smelled of sweet candles had encapsulated the room and were flooding down the stairs. The entire Vatican City was soon filled with the dreamy light, but the cardinals that witnessed it felt no fear. Many rushed to the source, bursting into the Pope's chambers to witness the grand miracle. Where Pius XI had once lay was now a figure wreathed in light, gazing back at them. Rejoice. For salvation is near. And of course, there's only one option, and that's that's Jesus. Jesus is coming. Hey, it's Jesus. Do we get an event there? Yep, see him coming on the clouds of heaven. Jesus is here. And give him any lowers my war support. Oh, he's democratic. Didn't expect that. Note to self, Jesus supports democracy. I'll go on, spread the word. Ecumenical Council of Rome, day one. What's this? None besides the Lord can claim infallibility. And I believe that unlocks this side. Oh no, wait. I'm not done. I'm not done with the council yet. Never mind. Byzantium was undoubtedly inheritor to the Roman legacy. Alright, day three. Well, I'm trying to look to the east, so I guess I'll upset the Western Christians. Ecumenical discussions conclude with the Eastern alignment. Byzantium shall rise again. Alright, now I gotta wait for the focus. And then Zog submits to Italy. I didn't tell you to do that, man. Come on. Gotta annex him before he does something stupid. An allied delegation visits Rome. Hmm. A warm welcome. <laughs> it seems that Hitler has forgotten that Jesus is Jewish. Well, that's awkward. Smiling the entire visit, then Jesus reminds him, I am Jewish, you know. Yeah, sorry, Germany. Gotta, you gotta stop with the whole uh, Jewish persecution thing if you want Jesus to be your ally. I thought it was obvious. Well, Stalin, all I can say to you is I'm going to crush you. I'm going to beat the fear of God into you. That's what I'm gonna do. At this point, I don't care which one. He thinks Jesus is a con man. Well, at least the United States visit was good. The Allies simply analyzed Jesus and Hitler, well, I already mentioned how that went. And Stalin didn't visit at all. What's this one? I mean... He did warn them. Oh, then Turkey wants to invest. 
or wants me to invest. I am sorry, Turkey, but I will be coming for you. I will not sign your Faustian bargain. First time I've ever clicked that one. I'm not helping you. I'm annexing you. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to get to work on uh, annexing him, them the vanilla way. Because it doesn't look like there's a place to do it in here. But I guess the way to not have to deal with that is to go see aggressive route rather than a holding a knife to Mussolini's throat. You'd think that would be aggressive, but it's not. It's perfectly reasonable. Who said that? So phase out money. I didn't. Re I thought we were. De I thought we were a democracy. I didn't realize you were communists. I'm sorry. Does that say Joan of Arc becomes a general? I'm fairly certain she's dead. Well, it is Jesus. I guess he. I guess he's bringing her back. Either weaken Stalin's regime. Or incite an orthodox revolution in... Or, ma or make inciting an orthodox revolution in Turkey more likely. I'll deal with Stalin in time. I think I think Turkey's more... More where I'm going. Also, I gain an annex war goal against Ethiopia. Italy already annexed them. I'll see if the United Kingdom will let me annex Northeast Africa. They have refused. Yeah, let's just get the claims. Absurd. They have clearly lost control of the place. Let's see if Greece will join my court. Oh dear. Nope, Germany's kicking things off. I want to figure out what to do with Yugoslavia before Germany does anything with them. Greece agrees to join our alliance. Great! Alright, now let's just dual focus to annex Greece, I guess. <laughs> and I have annexed them. You know what, let's phase out money. Let's phase out that money, we don't need that shit. I'm going to be invading Yugoslavia next, so, uh, two-pronged attack. Okay. Now I'm going to declare a war on Yugoslavia, because the first time I tried it, whoops. The first time I tried it, Romania joined and then they joined the Allies. But, uh, I forgot. If I waited just another focus, Romania would, uh, stop guaranteeing them, because, uh, because I'd get carved up by Hungary and Bulgaria. So, uh, I'm coming for you, Yugoslavia, and you better not join the Allies. The Soviet Union declared war on Romania. That's not supposed to happen. They're not supposed to re refuse being carved up there. Okay. Well, I've uh, I've taken things off course, I guess. And they joined the Allies. Okay, Soviet Union is at war with the Allies. And the Yugoslavia is gone. Love it. Oh wait. Romania just ceded Bessarabia. So the Soviets didn't declare on them because they said no to Bessarabia, they declared for another reason? I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh. What the... Oh dear, Germany has suddenly declared war on me. Uh, oh, I didn't get a notification about them justifying. Quickly to the border. Oh, she 